What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be doing some engine work. As some of you may have seen, I have a black Fox Body Mustang and I've had these heads laying around for about two years and it's about time I get those on. But before I do that, I need to go through them and clean them up. I didn't necessarily store them in the best way possible so they've developed a little bit of surface rust and also the valve seats weren't great to begin with. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to clean up the valve seats and we're going to go from kind of a rusty carbon covered valve seat to a nice shiny one here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not hard at all. I've never done it before. This is my first time too, but it's proving to be a very simple thing. So I'll show you how it goes. Now this is the head that I have not started on yet. And you can see our valve seats here are totally carboned up. There's rust on them. They're just not looking their best. I know if I performed a leak down test on these cylinder heads, we would definitely see some issues. So while I've got the heads off, we're just going to take this opportunity to clean them up nicely and I'll show you what they can turn into. And this is what our finished product will look like, save for the rust back there. I just don't have the proper brush to get that out, but that will go away. But other than that, this is how nicely these are going to shine up on that other head too. And this again does not take a lot of work. If you've got heads off the car, you might as well do this, especially if your heads look like that. So let's get started. I'm using this Dremel tool with the flex shaft attachment. That's what this guy is. And also this brass wheel right here. It's very important that you have a brass wheel and not a steel wheel. This is a softer metal, so it's not gonna interfere or damage your valve seats like a steel wheel could. We're gonna be using about 7,000 RPM, but if, you done, if you're doing this for the first time, you might wanna start lower at maybe three to 4,000 RPM. And then as you get more comfortable, you can increase the speed. Let's get going. First one we're going to do is this intake valve right here. Keep in mind, I increased the speed of the video by about 12. However, it really didn't take that long to clear out these intake valve seats, probably 10 to 15 minutes, just keeping a good consistent motion with the tool, never resting in any one spot for too long of a time. Although the brass tool on the iron heads isn't too big of a concern for damage, still don't want to rest uh, for too long on any one particular point. Just keep the tool moving and you'll be fine. Okay, now let's move to the exhaust side. As you can see, this is way more carboned up and it's going to be a little bit more work to get this one clean. The exhaust side was definitely a different story as far as time and effort are concerned. It certainly took longer to get all the carbon off. But as long as you stay with it, you will get those clean, although they might take twice as long as the intake seats took to get all cleaned up. Definitely worth it in the end, and you might go through maybe two of these brass tools on two heads total. That's what I did anyway. Now that I've got the valve seats cleaned up, I want to go through and kind of get the rust out of the intake bolts. There's not a lot to remove and quite honestly, this isn't a necessary step, but I do wanna be sure that there's no flakes that could potentially fall off during the engine operation and uh, potentially you know, get in between the valve and the valve seat. So I'm just gonna go over with another brass brush and uh, kinda of clean this up. I'm sure it'll just be a little bit dusty. So I'll show you that. Again, my main concern here was any flakes that might come off and interfere with the valve and the valve seat. Otherwise, I was not really concerned with the rust, although I, I do like the idea of a completely rust-free intake bowl and runner. Also going to do the intake runners. And again, we'll just produce a little bit of dust and just trying to get all that surface rust off. Although I don't feel that removing all this small surface rust is necessary, I am taking the time while the heads are off to get these nice and cleaned up. And one of the last things I'll be doing is just taking a grinding bit around the combustion chamber here. There's several rough edges that I'd like to smooth out and get rid of. So we'll just take a grinding stone and lightly go over those. Definitely use caution here. There is no reason to stop on any one point of the combustion chamber rim for any duration of time. You are literally just wanting to take some of the edges down, which I'm doing, and not create a chamfer or some sort of edge that could interfere with the gasket. Okay. 
And this is our final product. As you can see, the valve seats cleaned up real nicely, although it did take quite a bit more work to get the exhaust valve seats cleaned. You're gonna have to give yourself a few more minutes for those, but they did clean up nicely here, and I'm really glad that everything shined right up. Also got the rust out of the intake bowls and smoothed out the combustion chamber a little bit, so pretty happy with that too. Right now I've got everything covered in oil so I don't repeat my former mistakes and these don't develop any more surface rust. And the next step for these are to test them to make sure they don't need to be planed down. If they do need to be planed down then that's where they'll go. However, I'm kind of hoping that they're nice and flat and then we can just get them all cleaned up. Probably going to use carburetor cleaner for that as opposed to throwing them through the parts washer. Um, these heads were $175 and I'd really like to stay around that cost for these without investing too much in machine shop work. So if you want to give this a try at home, give yourself two hours, 30 minutes, I'd say minimum per head, but well worth it for the money you save at the machine shop. If you want to see me continue working on these and their eventual installation into the Mustang, please hit subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.